Coming up on Text Nation TV, this is our full review of the Huawei P8 Lite. Hi and welcome to Text Nation TV. My name is Rusty G and for the last 30 days I've been playing around with the Huawei P8 Lite. Now this phone is not your typical flagship phone, so I just want to let you know right off the bat, this isn't your iPhone 6 or 6 Plus, this isn't your Galaxy S6, or even the upcoming Note 5. This is basically a mid-range phone by Huawei as they try to break into the North American cell phone market, or should I say smartphone market. Uh, basically, this is a 5-inch display that you see here, an IPS display. Um, you've got your standard Android setup icons. One of the big things that is different about this phone is this phone actually does not have the app tray that you're used to. So all your apps are carried around much like your regular iPhone. All your icons are right on the front. Obviously with Android though, you can have your widgets on the home screens uh, as you see there, but there is no app tray. So get used to that. Uh, this phone is, like I said, a little five inch display. So it's not gonna be as big as some of the other phones out there, but it is pretty decent. One of the big things that Huawei is doing with this phone and why it's the P8 Lite because it doesn't have a full 1080p display or a 2K or a 4K. This is a 720 display that you're looking at so it's not exactly the grandest phone, it's not the latest and greatest, but because of the display, you're not looking at a battery life that absolutely is horrible. <laughs> this phone actually I've been using like I said for the last 30 days and I've been able to stream my music do my everyday task and by the end of the day still have a good 30 to 40 percent on the battery life so I think that is great especially when I'm carrying around my Galaxy S6 who I can't seem to carry a charge up until about 9 o'clock in the morning which I started at about 4 30 to be at work at 6 and then by 9 it's pretty much less than half so this phone will actually carry me carry me through all day long and I love it and I'm able to web browse do whatever I can do whatever I want to so that's just kind of a broad overview but let's get into everything in a detail so let's take a look all right taking a closer look at this phone uh, you like I said before this is a 720 display screen that you're looking at and for those of you that are wondering how the phone has dual sims you'll take a look at the here on the side uh, everything is actually controlled on this one side uh, there is no controls on this side. Uh, so what you're looking at here is the volume rocker, uh, the power button for wake and sleep. And then here is the dual SIM slot. You'll actually have, I actually have my SIM right here in the bottom and then an empty SIM slot here. But this second slot can actually be used to expand the storage. Uh, this phone only comes with 16 gigabytes of storage. Let's take a look at that here. So let's go down to storage. And you'll see there, it just has a standard 16 gigs. Uh, you'll see I've got about 10 gigs free that I've uh, used so much. So uh, one thing I didn't like though, and this may be something that Huawei either has uh, in this demo phone or something. I'm not sure, but if you look right here, you'll see SD card mount, and then you'll see USB storage mount. So I was thinking I was going to be able to move some of the files and things that I took photos and videos of on this phone and actually move them uh, over the USB to go option. Well, unfortunately it never mounted and I was never actually able to get that function up so I'm not sure exactly why that is but that may be something they did for the demo phone that they uh, got disabled I'm not sure how exactly how that works uh, but one thing I do like about this phone even though it doesn't have the app tray that you're so used to that some of us probably hit right here and you get all your apps this actually goes into where you're able to kill apps and pull things out and do whatever and go back to the main screen uh, so that's kind of a bum deal I don't like not having the app tray since I've been so used to it with Android but eh, neither here nor there uh, one thing great though is that while you are actually using those two sims if you actually happen to have two networks you can actually go into the option here to the dual sim card management and you'll see there I've got the AT&T and it's enabled if I were to have a sim slot a second one that I'm using it would be here and I'd be able to switch and choose whichever one so that's great again uh, this is great mobility for being able to go uh, wherever that I really want to go as far as from T-Mobile to AT&T or you know wherever that I'm going whether it's Canada uh, Vodafone or whatever it is uh, one great feature that I do like about this phone and I actually used it a few times is this phone actually has a power saving mode and you'll see here, and let's see if I can get this focus right here. You have the regular smart power saving one that'll actually tell you when apps are running too much. and It'll kind of cut things off. But it actually also has the ultra power saving mode. And it'll tell you enable, yes. And it'll go into the, basically the black and white grayscale that all the other phones will do. So uh, that'll actually last you quite a while. I wasn't actually able to use this feature to try it out. 
uh, to get it maybe, you know, to make it last longer, but still a cool feature to have, and especially in today's smartphones when batteries don't last as long. Uh, so let's see if we can go back. Yes, we want to exit. And there we go, focus. Oh, nope, we don't want the camera. We don't want to, nope, let's go. Come on, come on, focus. Come on. All right, anyway, well, maybe, there it goes. All right, so also looking at this phone, one thing I do like is much like the Samsung phones where you're able to select a theme, uh, some of you may have seen the Avengers themes that were available out there uh, for the Galaxy S6. Uh, this phone actually has themes just as well, and it's a built-in app that you can select here and go into your themes, and you can actually see some of the themes here. Uh, and they've got music light and default and uh, just a couple things built in. Nothing really that you can go too crazy on. They give you previews just like the Samsung ones do, and you can go through and download those. That's uh, just one nice extra little feature. I wish that they had a couple more things. You can actually go through and customize uh, the wallpaper, the sounds that you hear from each theme, however that you want to do it. So that's kind of neat. I do like that feature. Uh, one thing, though, um, that I did not like is, and most people will tell you about this if, when reviewing the phone, is the auto brightness on this thing is not exactly the grandest thing because even in daylight it has some issues in doing the auto uh, changeover. But it, it just kind of depends, I guess, where you're using it. If you're using this thing in full daylight, sunlight, and you just can't see anything, well, yeah, I mean, it's going to be that. It's just not one of the brightest displays that you're used to. But again, remember, this is a 720 display and not a 1080 or even a 2K or anything like that. Uh, so nothing killer there. Uh, one thing that I also like is, and then let's go back here, is this phone actually has a built-in FM radio. So if you go in, let's see, I think it's under tools here. This actually has a built-in FM radio. Now, it won't work until I plug in a headset, and I don't have a headset to plug in right now, uh, but I believe, turn it on here, and it says, please plug in your headset. Yeah, so you do have to have a headset to plug it in so that it gets some sort of signal, uh, but it does have a built-in FM radio, and that's great for those of you that happen to run out of data, and especially if you're on a prepaid plan or you're on a family plan and you don't share and you don't get enough of that shared data and you want to get music still, uh, that's great. So I actually love that. And some of the other things in here, uh, they've got a built-in mirror. This is actually kind of funny. Uh, most, most ladies I will see doing this, um, but uh, basically what you're doing is it's using your camera so that you can see yourself right back at yourself. I just think that's kind of a funny feature to have built in. Uh, most people actually do that. But either way, uh, it's also got a magnifier so you can go in and kind of see cl things close up if you wanted to and zoom in and use your camera as a magnifier. Uh, j just stupid features, to be honest with you. Uh, but other than that, that's pretty much the basics of the phone. Uh, again, there's not much to it. You've got everything standard that you're looking at here. Um, so let's take a look at some of the photos and things that it took. All right, so we're taking a look at some of these photos, and this first photo here is just a coffee mug of when I was at work that I happen to have. Uh, and this is just a 13 megapixel Sony shooter that is in here. It comes with an aperture of 2.2 with a focal lens of 28 millimeters. It also has macro mode uh, along with an LED flash and also has the capability of looking at panoramic photos. Uh, so this is just a regular shot of a coffee, like a uh, coffee mug that's on my desk. Uh, it actually has some extra effects that you can actually go through and do and do like this. Same coffee pot, but it's just in grayscale. And it actually has other options, uh, like this one here, it has the inverted. Uh, same like most of your cameras, they have those extra filters and things built in. Not that most of you are going to be using it, but it does have those options. Um, here is the back of my neighborhood. This is straight off my back porch, uh, just looking straight out. Uh, nothing really too bad. It does great, as most smartphones do in daylight. Uh, and this is the actual panoramic view uh, from my backyard uh, over the back porch. And if this were a wraparound photo, if you had a Google phone, you could actually see this in a kind of a 3D panoramic view. But this is just a 2D version of it, just to kind of give you an idea. Again, this is great for uh, whenever you're doing a panoramic shot. It doesn't, you know, it's just like all the other phones. It has the option to do it, so it's built in. Um, and now we're going to look at a little bit closer up. This is one of the plants that's on the back of my porch. Uh, again, this phone does great in daylight. Uh, and then it also has this little added feature, like this picture that you've seen here. Today is Sunday. Uh, it has those overlays that you can do, little corny, fun little options if you want to do something. It has weather. 
uh, or a calendar. Uh, you'll see here, this is our pet bird. Um, he, he is very colorful in the shot, and you can tell he kind of stands out, obviously, as you can see. So the color uh, is wonderful when it comes to the camera. Again, this is out in daylight. So, um, And this is showing off some of the macro stuff right here. I'm looking at a little uh, leaf bug that was out in front of our house, and I actually got down to the ground. He actually sat very still, and I was able to take these photos. Uh, you'll see here as I keep getting a little bit closer, the macro part of this lens is awesome. It actually gets very well, and I can actually see uh, pretty much everything detailed on this little guy. Uh, it's, it's really, really, really good, and I actually use this for an Instagram shot uh, a little bit later. Uh, here I am uh, inside of a movie theater. I was going to go see Ant-Man kind of a little inside, not so much daylight anymore. Uh, you can see it starts getting a little grainy uh, down towards the bottom. Uh, you can see a little bit of grain just because the light's not uh, a full sunlight and is using indoor, uh, I'm, I'm assuming, fluorescent light bulbs. A uh, little bit of reflection there off of Paul Rudd's face just because of the way the box is. But that's kind of an indoor night shot that you see there. Um, here's a night shot that I actually shot twice. And this is the first uh, edition of this photo. Uh, this photo, you can see everything below the sun line is actually kind of dark and you can't really see much there uh, because I changed the focus to be on the sunlight. All right, so now we're taking a look at the second shot and you'll see here I was actually able to change the focus and you'll see the, the light was a little bit easier to pick up uh, into the foreground that you see there and actually the background is a little bit more blown out just so that we can actually change the focus and you'll see there at the bottom of the photo uh, the yard actually has our, our little solar lights coming on uh, so you can see just kind of a night shot. All right, now here is an HDR version of this photo. This is kind of a mix between light and dark. Obviously, it didn't do very well, and I've never really found a phone that does great on the HDR. Uh, even the flagship phones that I see now don't actually have a great HDR option, but this is just that HDR version of that same photo uh, just to kind of give you an aspect of uh, what to look for in that phone. All right, so moving on to my back porch, uh, this is the same uh, night shot, uh, basically just on the back porch, and this was the first shot where I focused uh, more on the lower half so that I could actually see everything and not get uh, blown out by the sun, which you can tell the sun actually, everything above the tree line actually kind of got blown out. So now moving on to the background, uh, I actually changed the focus again to the skyline instead of the actual house, and you'll see everything just kind of gets darkened out and the side of the house is... Uh, lit up uh, just because of the sun, the way it's reflecting off and different things here. So kind of another night shot uh, that you can see there through the photo. Now this is another daylight shot where I was out and about and just took a quick photo shot of just a random group of people where I was eating lunch at. Uh, great, again, daylight. It does wonderful in daylight as most smartphones do. Uh, so just to kind of show you a comparison between night and day and different shots that you can see there as far as the 13 megapixel shooter. Um, and then this is just a random shot that I took uh, while I was watching uh, one of my favorite shows, Geek Beat. Uh, I was streaming about 144p there, but that's just to kind of show you another up close. It was actually very rainy outside this day. Uh, it wasn't very bright, so for it to pick up as much light as it did, uh, I think it's great. Uh, it did great for picking up just a little bit of the light um, there, but just to kind of show you the photos. All right, this is just some uh, 1080p footage uh, that I shot outside in our neighborhood of the construction going on. Uh, you'll see the blue sky kind of whited out until it flips up and then kind of shows you blue sky and then comes back down. Uh, and then I just did some video of the area around the uh, neighborhood there, the neighbors uh, in the cul-de-sac area. Um, and then I walked inside just to show you some inside video of the bird cage that we have of our pet bird. Um, I do uh, both 1080p version here. Uh, this is actually inside. And then I switch over to the 720p uh, video just to kind of show you uh, the difference in quality. So uh, not really bad. Nothing, you know, to go home and write about or write home about, however that phrase goes. Uh, here's some video of uh, me and the bird actually jumping around doing some... Uh, goofy stuff. This is using the front 5 megapixel camera, uh, just goofing off uh, and getting the bird to dance around just to kind of show you inside video as well uh, with a variation of colors, obviously me being uh, a little bit dark with the beard and everything and the bird dancing around. 
Uh, and then I go outside and I show you some video here of me outside as the surrounding changes as I uh, move around and the background uh, light changes, just showing you the front uh, picture. Uh, one thing I didn't do was uh, a selfie mode to show you the panoramic mode, but that is an option if you want to go into that mode. All right, one of the last things I want to talk about was the specs of this phone. For those of you that kind of want to know the details, uh, this phone is a Qualcomm processor. It's basically got two quad cores turning it into an octa-core processor. Uh, one quad core is a 1.5 gigahertz Cortex-A53. The second is a 1 gigahertz Cortex-A53 processor, uh, making it a octa-core processor. It comes with 2 gigs of RAM and then 16 gigabytes of internal storage, as I've stated before. Now, the micro SD slot, I didn't talk about much before, but you're actually able to upgrade it uh, an extra 32 gigs with that micro SD slot. Uh, the OS that you're looking at comes with Android 4.4 with no mention of Android 5, 5.0, 5.1, any of those coming anytime soon from Huawei. So we really don't know much about it. Uh, earlier we were showing you photos. Uh, I want to let you know this is a 13 megapixel Sony uh, aperture of 2.2 uh, lens that you're looking at with an LED flash uh, on the back. You've got a 5 megapixel camera, or I'm sorry, on the front You've got a 5 megapixel camera with a 2.4 aperture, uh, uh, panoramic actually, and that's actually kind of fun. Both the front and back can do panoramic, and the selfies uh, can be panoramic. Why you'd want to do that, but hey, I'm not a selfie person. Uh, you're capturing video at 1080p uh, with DTS. Uh, audio and a 30 frames per second on H.263 MPEG-4 or H.264. Uh, you also have audio and photo and remote shooting that you have the ability to do. Uh, there's a lot of different things. It comes with Wi-Fi, 802B, G, and N. Not AC on the 5 gigahertz just yet, but it comes uh, with Wi-Fi display and Wi-Fi direct, so you can able to actually mirror this screen over to another uh, Chromecast device or a TV that actually has it built in. Uh, this comes in a 850, 900, 1800, 1900 GSM uh, signals for the old GSM networks. And if you're on LTE, it comes in bands 2, 4, 5, 12, and 17. Uh, and 4G, it comes in HSPA Cat 24, HSPA Cat 6. I know all those were so amazingly awesome to listen to. Uh, but again, this phone is pretty much awesome. It comes with a two-year warranty. Again, it's only $249. I cannot tell you how much awesome that is. With a 2200 milliamp battery and a 720 display to screen, this thing will pretty much last you all day long and you don't really have to worry about it dying on you. It's a great phone for the price. And remember, you're not paying $800, you're not paying $700. It's not something crazy that you're paying over your contract. So this phone is great for the price. So if you want to get one, go to GetHuawei.com. That's G-E-T-H-U-A-W-E-I.com. Look up the P8 Lite and you'll be able to get one now directly from Amazon. And like I said, they have a two-year warranty on it. So pretty much this phone is going to get uh, taken care of for you. And I'll tell you this, uh, for the review unit, I actually dropped this thing on concrete. And let me show you if I can. If you look, and the lights may not, and my focus may not be able to... Oh, there it goes. You see that corner? Yeah, I accidentally dropped it on concrete, so... Uh, and it actually caught one more corner. Let's see if I can get the focus right there. Oh, it had it for a second. Let's see if I can... Come on. Come on. There it is. And that's the other corner. Uh, that actually caught. So for dropping it on the concrete and I didn't actually bust the screen into a million pieces, uh, I think that's great, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, but that's been my full review of the Huawei P8 Lite. Again, go check it out. Get Huawei.com. Get yours now and order it and uh, have one ready for you in the next couple days. Uh, if you want to follow us online, you can find us at multiple. You're probably watching us right now on YouTube. It's YouTube.com slash TV. Uh, if you're on Twitter, it's twitter.com slash TV. If you are on Google+, Plus, it's gplus.to slash TV. If you're on Facebook, it's facebook.com slash TV. And then for all things Text Nation, it's txtnation.tv. Thanks again for watching, guys. You have yourself a wonderful week, and we'll see you again for the next episode.